Okay, so this time I will explain how to uh, visualize and explore data using pivot table. So basically, pivot table is, is a table of statistic that summarizes a big data in a more comprehensive table. So basically, uh, this is a technique uh, of data processing. We want to process a big data into a simple one. Okay, in order to produce a uh, meaningful information that easily understood by the reader. And this pivot table actually they will calculate, analyze and summarize data. Now let's get started. So this is our data. We have 20 observation. Okay. The table header we call it as a table field. Okay, remember table field. So some important function that will be used in order to create pivot table. Click insert and pivot table. That is number one. Number two, slicer. Okay, slicer. So let's start. Select the whole data. Shift control arrow right and down. Okay. Click insert pivot table. Choose new worksheet. Okay. So this is our new worksheet. Sheet one. Okay. So go back to data source. Copy and paste our equation to sheet 1 ok now put your cursor here to answer question number 1 we want to prepare a pivot table of one dimension product and cells as a value of measurement so this is our pivot table field field refer to table header just now now click product series so product series will appear at row section so this is our result and total cells as a value of measurement so click total cells so total cells located at value section so make sure the total cells is in form of sum what if what if we have different value for example let me put as a count so it is inaccurate so change click this button value field setting click sum okay so this is our answer for question one so total cells uh, are in form of right in a breaker okay question 2 product and total quantity is a value of measurement go back to data source select the whole data insert pivot table now click existing worksheet not a new worksheet existing worksheet now click sheet 1 position your cursor at the cell ok now location sheet 1 this is the location ok question 2 asks about product and total quantity so click product Product series must be located at row section. And then total quantity. So quantity in form of units. Units must be located at value section. So here is our result. Question 2. Now question 3. Year and total cells as a value of measurement. Again, data source. Select the whole data, insert, pivot table, 
existing worksheet existing worksheet and click shape 1 position our cursor at this cell so this is our location ok ok select year year now drag year to row section drag just drag drag Click and drag to row section. Total cells as a value of measurement. Total cells must be located at value section. So total cells are in the form of dollar. Okay. Question 4. Two dimension. Two dimension. Region and product. Where total quantity in unit as a value of measurement. Data source. Select the whole data. Insert. Revert table. Existing worksheet. Sheet 1. Click this cell. This is our location. Okay. Question 4 asking about region and product. Now click region. Region 8 row. Product series. Product series located at column. So now we have two dimension. Okay. Row, region, column, product series. Total quantity units as a value of measurement. Click units. Okay, so we have this kind of answer. Question 5. Year and product. Again, data source. Insert. Pivot table. Existing with sheet. Sheet 1. This is our location. Okay. So click year. Year. Drag year to row section. Product series. Product series. Now drag product series to column section. Next, total quantity units. Total quantity units. Some of me. Okay. So here is our results. Year and product. Okay, here is our results. Okay, insert slices. Now to have a better view. Insert slicer one by one product year and region. Okay, now put your cursor here, click somewhere on the table, the first table, mm -hmm. insert, insert, slicer, where is the slicer, home, insert, slicer, oh yeah, okay, product, tick product. Okay, so this is our slicer. Next is here. Now place your cursor here, somewhere here. Insert. Slicer. Here. Okay. Next, region. Insert. Slicer Region Okay So Double click Slicer Double click Slicer tools Option Change our color I would like to use yellow As product series Here I choose 
green region uh, I choose this color okay so this is our slicer <laughs>